Hi dear cricket fans, uh, welcome to Cricket Happenings, your favorite show. Well, uh, today uh, we are going to talk about the third one day international between South Africa and Zimbabwe. Uh, and this was a match which actually ended the series, but South Africa ended this on a very, very positive note. In fact, they rattled up 399 runs um, uh, after batting first on this pitch in Benoni and 399 for 6 wickets in 50 overs uh, and there was a very massive stand, 219 run stand between uh, J.P. Dumini and A.B.D. Villiers for the third wicket which actually took it away and you know uh, set, the, set it at a very high pedestal of a score of 399 for 6. Uh, in fact, uh, Dumini made 129, his highest score in one day international cricket. A.B.D. Villiers made 109, his second consecutive century in uh, this particular series. And well, South Africa completely, uh, you know, uh, they completely hold, held ascendancy in the entire series by actually taking the series 3-0. Uh, so it's all over as far as the South Africa-Zimbabwe one-day series is concerned. Uh, well, uh, Zimbabwe, uh, for the reply that they made for a score of 399 was not at all uh, something that you could talk about because they just folded up uh, like a pack of cards for 127 there were no match for the South African pace bowlers or the spinners and that was it. Zimbabwe just made only 127 and as I said it was a massive victory for South Africa winning this match by a margin of 272 runs. Well, now as far as uh, South Africa was concerned, uh, it was Graham Smith and uh, Hashim Amla. In fact, it was uh, South Africa who actually won the toss and chose to bat. And uh, Graham Smith and uh, Hashim Amla started off in such a wonderful fashion that uh, they started, uh, you know, uh, thrashing both the ballers. They were, uh, there was uh, Ian Nicholson who actually was playing his second match of his inter one day international career. He got thrashed uh, to the tune of uh, uh, his bowling figures at the end of the day, stood at seven overs for 74 runs with just one wicket to his name. He was absolutely thrashed uh, and Masakaja's figures uh, read 10 overs, no maiden, 2 wickets for 95. Well, Graham Smith and Hashim Amla started off in a very, very positive manner. And as I said, they were very aggressive from the word go. They have nothing to lose. They rattled 53 in the 7th over uh, before uh, Elton Chugumbra actually introduced the right arm off spinner Prosper Utsaya into the attack. And Prosper Utsaya responded very well. He actually had a very good ball. It's a flight off spinner from Prosper Utsaya. And Graham Smith was absolutely fooled by the delivery. Uh, he got an edge on to that. Taibu did the rest uh, behind the stumps and it was over. So Smith was gone. Stump Taibu bowled Saya for 26 of 19 balls with 4 fours and 1 6. So that was the first wicket to go. Hashim Amla finally didn't make a century today. In fact, he was out for 24 when he was uh, caught behind of the balling of Shingarai Masakaja. Now that was a ball from Shingarai Masakaja, the pace baller, who actually uh, got a good lifter. Amla, which uh, he, he managed to just uh, edge it on to Taibu. He was gone. So 59 for 2 and De Villiers and Dumini were at the crease and uh, looked like Zimbabwe were uh, slowly uh, sl slowly getting into the match uh, but uh, well uh, those ideas were all squashed by uh, J.P. Dumini and A.B. De Villiers who really as I said the third wicket stand uh, which took on the score to 278 uh, in the 39th over uh, Dumini and De Villiers as I said, uh, there was uh, no mercy for any of the ballers. All the ballers went for runs. Uh, in fact, uh, Zimbabwe uh, had uh, 10 ballers. One, yeah, they, they had 9 ballers actually balling uh, to actually uh, st stem this run flow. But nothing could be done as A.B. De Villiers and Dumini just tore into the balling attack as far as Zimbabwe is concerned. And they really thrashed the balling to all parts of the field. Uh, and the end, uh, 278 uh, A.B. De Villiers uh, departed. Uh, after making his uh, century, the second consecutive century in this one day series and he was out for 109 of just 99 deliveries with 5 fours and 5 sixes in that effort. He was Scott Masakadza bold, Hamilton Masakadza for 109. Uh, Dumini uh, followed him to the pavilion after uh, they had actually gone past the 300 mark 
and at score of 328 JP Dumini was um, a victim of Nicholson he was gone for 129 his highest score in one day international cricket for JP Dumini and JP Dumini after a long time getting on to a century I would say uh, that would do a lot of good for him so he was gone 129 of 117 balls seven fours and four sixes for JP Dumini after that um, it was some um, uh, so, uh, like like everybody indulged in some big hitting Albi Markel contributed 37 of just 21 deliveries 5 fours and 1 6 uh, falling a victim to Shingare Masakadza uh, Colin Ingram uh, creamed uh, 20 of just 8 deliveries 1 4 and 2 sixes becoming a victim of Chigumbra and then uh, David Miller in the end um, uh, gave the finishing touches uh, in fact he tried his best to take the score past 400 but they finished at 399 for 6 and David Miller was not out on 33 of just 19 deliveries 3 fours and 1 6 both of us not out on not 399 for 6 uh, the score for South Africa on the board there after 50 overs and the balling figures doesn't make any happy reading as far as Zimbabwe is concerned Shingara Masakadza 10 overs no made in 2 for 95 Ian Nicholson 7 overs no made in 1 for 74 Prosper Utsuya 10 overs 1 for 58 was looking good Dabing was 6 overs none for 40 uh, Creamer 5 overs for 37 Chibabas 3 overs for 20 Chigumbra 7 overs 1 for 53 Masakadza 1 over 1 for 4 was the only one who could we could really talk about and Brendan Taylor bowled 1 over for 10 runs as far as Zimbabwe reply were concerned the Zimbabwe in reply well they were in tatters right from the word go it all started with the uh, main uh, uh, the mainstay batsman Brendan Taylor the most consistent batsman gone when he actually tried a ball uh, uh, I mean glided a ball to third man uh, uppercut to third man and Theron took the catch in the deep he was gone off the bowling of Sobe for five Hamilton Masakadza was uh, caught by Theron trying to pull Markle he was gone for five of nine balls and they were 18 for two uh, Chamu Chibaba uh, looked uh, briefly entertaining uh, he played one very good sh uh, um, uh, shot which actually uh, sent the ball soaring over the rope for a six he also uh, played a stunning drive for a boundary uh, but that was it Chibaba was gone and Markle actually had him caught by Amla for 16 of 18 balls with 1-4 and 1-6 30 for 3 Zimbabwe at the time Tatinda Taibu and Irvine at the case this was the only partnership uh, which was which was of some note uh, but uh, it, it looked very very I wouldn't say threatening at all because the score was quite huge uh, that South Africa made but uh, Taibu and Irvine um, really tried to revive Zimbabwe's hopes but Johan both uh, the right arm of uh, off spinners uh, double strike really ended everything as uh, Taibu was uh, out to a very good beautiful flighted uh, ball from uh, Bota, uh, which uh, Taibu was uh, absolute clean bowl for 28 of uh, uh, as many balls with five fours, and Craig Irvine followed him to the pavilion uh, of the next uh, delivery. When uh, you know he was gone for, uh, in fact, he was gone in the same over. There was a double strike by Bota in the same over when Irvine was uh, uh, bowled through the batting pad gap for 24 of 35 balls with three fours, and they were 80 for five at that stage. Uh, Chigumbra the captain disappointed when he was clean ball by you and Theron for one uh, and it was 80 for six after that well there was nothing to really talk about uh, Parnell come in the York kid Domingo for six uh, Creamer was uh, consumed by Parnell for two Masakadza was clean ball by you and Theron for 14 Nicholson was not out on not and uh, the only person who was there at the crease at the time was Prosper Utsaya not out on 24 or 40 balls with one four and it was all over for Zimbabwe 127 all out in 29 overs a massive victory for South Africa and the third one day international uh, to actually close the series 3-0 and, uh, so, and in fact uh, 272 runs was the margin uh, a great victory for South Africa as far as the bowling figures for South Africa were concerned Albi Markle 5 overs no made in 2 for 35 so Tsobe 4 overs no made in 1 for 12 Parnell 7 overs no made in 2 for 30 uh, Yuan Theron 6 overs no made in 3 for 18 and Johan Botha 7 overs no made in 2 for 32 South Africa won the 3 match series 3 in all the player of the match was JP Dominion of South Africa the player of the series went to ABD Villiers for his uh, two centuries well uh, our dear fans uh, subscribers and friends uh, what I would really talk about, uh, yes, it was a crushing defeat for Zimbabwe, no doubt about it. But, uh, uh, you know, now Bangladesh uh, uh, Bangladesh are waiting here. Zimbabwe is going to have, uh, going to play Bangladesh. So that is going to be very, very interesting. Um, and Elton Chukumra has already mentioned uh, that uh, they have to play spin well because probably Bangladesh would like to attack with spin because that is what was the uh, their uh, key weapon as far as uh, uh, the 4-0 trouncing of New Zealand were concerned. So... I'm sure um, Elton Chugumbra has gone the, got the right words there uh, in this uh, after the post-match conference and also Elton Chugumbra made one very good statement which uh, I really really uh, this is this is the thing I've been telling it uh, time and again when this one day series was going on 
where is Raymond Price? And finally the news is out. Raymond Price's father was sick uh, and that's the precise reason Raymond Price was not played. But he, uh, let me tell you, he, he would have made a big difference because he's not only going to get the wickets and uh, in fact, Ilton Chugumbra has really endorsed what I have been telling. Uh, he has said that he has been sorely missed. He was a very important cog in the wheel of the Zimbabwe's uh, cricket scheme of things. So West, uh, I only wish that um, uh, Raymond Price's uh, father uh, gets uh, recovers uh, very soon and Raymond Price is in action as far as the uh, Bangladesh tour is concerned. So that is as far as Zimbabwe is concerned. So the, now they go to, uh, they play Bangladesh in a one day series. As far as South Africa is concerned, South Africa, well, uh, that will be a lot of conference. I know they are going to play much stronger opposition against Pakistan uh, and this is going to be played in the United Arab Emirates. The matches will be played in Dubai and Abu Dhabi. Uh, so uh, South Africa will have to get acclimatized to that. They will be going into uh, uh, United Arab Emirates to play uh, Pakistan. Uh, so they have their work cut out there. Uh, and so that is uh, also something which one is uh, really looking forward to, no doubt about that. Uh, but dear cricket fans, it has been a great pleasure bringing you the cricket happenings of the third one day international at Benoni between South Africa and Zimbabwe. Where Park, where Zimb uh, South, uh, sorry, South Africa and Zimbabwe. South Africa has uh, registered a crushing defeat of Zimbabwe by actually making 390, the third highest overall score by South Africa in one day international cricket, and then uh, bundling out Zimbabwe for 129. That's Andy A.B. Williams' was named man of the match. And that's it, dear cricket fans, for cricket happenings. This is Ram. Signing off. Thank you.